I, I was the person who got up two years ago. I'd, I'd been laid off. And um, just a quick backstory. Um, I'm about two years from, from paying off my place. Um, so things turned around for you, eh? They did. Hmm. And thank you. Um, so I, I always have questions every year. Um, I, I j have just two this year. Um, we appreciate you coming back year after year since we only have one answer. Right. It's very patient of you. Um, so my, my question is, how do I get to the, to the big money, to the money that's to the, what's abund what is contained within? By diminishing the bigness of it. Okay, thank by you. By acknowledging the simpleness of it. By reminding yourself that the creation of a castle and a button is exactly the same thing. It just depends on whether you're focused on the castle or the button. But just the fact that you call it the big money means that you have a vibrational barricade between the receiving of it and where it stands. It's big money, which means big in the expression big, you mean harder to achieve, or you mean um, rarer, or you mean more special stuff I need to do. Abraham, I've been hearing you for years. I come with a couple of questions every year, gave me the same answer, but I need a different answer this year because I want the big money, not just the money. I was laid off, I was laid off, and I admit now I'm not laid off. And that consistent smaller money has been coming and I like it don't get me wrong I like it just fine. I like it but I really want that hard to get stuff I really want to get that stuff that hardly anybody gets I want that really hard to get stuff so could we have a more private meeting where you <laughs> where you where you don't tell us how to get the simple stuff but where you tell us how to get the big stuff I, so I, let's go behind the curtain and right. we'll, we'll, we'll whisper in your ear I, I, I Did actually, you want the big? The big. Right. We're I, not making. We are making fun of you. We are. We're making fun of the idea that big things are more difficult to create. Big things are easier to create because you think about them more. Big things are easier to create because there's more life stream going to them. There's more attention from non-physical on them. But what trips you up in the big is that in the acknowledging that it's a big thing, you've got a bigger resistance so you've just got to find a way of softening that resistance I, what's big money anyway um where you essentially can um wake up and do what whatever you particularly want to do in, in, in a given day but, but here's the thing if you can hear this then you're off and running if you can wake up every morning and think the thoughts you want to think then nothing can keep you from anything. But if you're waking up and your thoughts are contained by the manifestation, then you can't move on where you are. So then I feel pretty close um, because I, I feel as if, you know, it, to make, um, I, I've been called up every year and I kind of do it. Yeah, what's up with that? But I know how I do it and I know how, um, um, so I'm, I'm pretty good at, uh, I'm pretty good at visualizing. And so, um, that's my assumption of how I do, uh, get pretty much what the things that I get. So even though I might use the term big, um, uh, I'm, I'm very, I'm pretty good at visualizing those things. So I mean, I feel as if the you know a thousand dollars two thousand dollars more a month that's work but the, the the even though i might use that term i feel as if that's easier for me because work is not something uh, something i factor in the thing that's tripping you up is the distinction between in other words you are equating so much effort with so much money and so, you know, that's what you meant a little bit when you were saying, I know that I can do the work. I know that I can do the hard work. For an incremental amount, but I feel as if... Because I am limited by the amount of effort that I can offer. In other words, if I'm thinking in terms of 
dollars for effort then I can only offer so much effort there are so many hours in a day and there are only so many people willing to pay me equivalency for what I'm offering right so you have to stop looking at your earning in terms of equivalency for effort and begin looking at your receiving let's change the word earning to receiving and let's change effort to vibration to personal vibrational offering can you hear the difference because if it's about earning an effort then you're right you're limited to how much you can do you're limited to how many things you can accomplish or to how many people that you can convince about the value of what you're offering but when you understand that it's not about earning, it's about receiving. And it's not about effort, it's about vibration. So it's not about doing, it's about thinking. And it's not even so much about being aware of your thought as it is being aware of how you feel when you think the thought. Now you've got the formula. Right. And so I feel as if I'm more kind of there because for it's the incorrect term, for the big things, I do that. I don't factor um, work or effort into it explain more Be, because uh, like for me t uh, my my belief is that um to you know make an incremental amount more a month like a thousand two thousand dollars more that is work i know how to do that but for something that i might I might use an incorrect term big i can visualize that and i i know i can get there um, emotionally so I feel as if I don't factor effort into that because I just b listen to you I tr try to do my best to go there so why are we having this conversation I don't know so that's uh, that, that, I, 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 it's because good. you're still monitoring True. the manifestational True. outcome Thank you. and then questioning True. your vibrational state of being so all I need to do is diminish lower that a little lower what lower you know, like even the, the desire to question or desire to or the um, observance well what you're wanting to do is raise your appreciation of your knowledge of the energy and raise your appreciation of your vision in other words it really is as simple and you sort of have to figure out how to work this out it really is as simple as if your desire or dream goal if it pleases you when you think about it then you're in the right vibrational stance but if it feels like disappointment or it feels like a challenge or it feels like something that you haven't figured out yet or it feels like a dilemma or it feels like injustice because you see others have figured it out and you haven't so you really have to think and feel and think and feel. So what you do is you dream a little about what you're wanting. The thing that trips a lot of people up is that they want a state of being. Like they will say, I desire enough financial abundance that I can do whatever I want. And we want to say, you got it backwards. It is the doing what you want that causes the alignment with the vortex that takes away the resistance that then brings the abundance to support whatever you want. The money isn't the means to the happy life. The happy life is the means to the money. But how can I feel happy in this moment when I'm working harder than I want to work on things that I would rather not do? And we say, because you have the ability to think around it. First, you have the ability to appreciate more of what you are doing. You have the ability to say more positive things than negative things. You have the ability to look for more positive aspects and fewer negative aspects. You have the ability to appreciate others more than criticizing them. You have the ability to appreciate yourself more than criticizing yourself. You have the ability to focus, even when you're just looking at what is, in a much more productive, meaning, good-feeling way. And if all you were doing was just looking into your now for things that you could appreciate or praise, you would shift your vibration enough that it would raise to the vibrational level of what's in your vortex of what you've been dreaming about. But what's tripping you up and it trips almost everybody up is this comparison between where I am and where I want to be. 
So what you have to start doing is you have to say, I'm going to go there in my mind. And we know that has to be incredibly annoying, but that is the path. Because if you can't get there in your mind, you can't get there. Right. I, no, I feel and like what I humans keep right. demanding of us, they keep saying, I don't want to get there in my mind. That feels foolish. I want to be there so I can get there. Right. If I was just there, then I'd get there. And we say, there's a journey between where you are and where you want to be. It is not a work journey. It's not an effort journey. It's not a getting hired journey. It's not even a great idea for a great product that the world wants journey. It's a vibrational journey. It's the difference between praising and criticizing. It's the difference between smiling and frowning. It's the difference between dragging yourself across the parking lot and skipping yourself across the parking lot. It's the difference between loving and hating. It's the difference between feeling good more of the time and feeling bad more of the time. That's the only difference because you've been living life and you've put it into the vortex. Your vortex is full of everything that you want and it is a vibrational speed that you usually aren't at because you are like most people you are observing what is instead of dreaming about what will be thank you yes indeed <laughs>